Hey guys, Running Kimono here. Happy Monday. I hope you're all doing great and having a great Memorial Day. Okay, so um, today I went and stopped at a Dollar Tree in a town. My husband and I just took a little drive just to get out of the house and just to get some air. And we stopped in at this Dollar Tree and uh, to my surprise, man, they had a lot of stuff, including masks, um, like a knockoff Lysol wipe. I mean, they had everything and anything. Even though there were some limitation, the supply was very, very nice. So I'm going to share that with you in a quick second. If you're not an avid Dollar Tree shopper, um, and if you're looking for stuff, this might be the place to find it. And just to let you know, I know a lot of you love my cats and little Suzu celebrated her third birthday yesterday. We had a little party for her. And this is the photo of her uh, to the the left of when we first found her three years ago on Memorial Day. Um, she We found her in our backyard. Uh, her mom had abandoned her and she was just um, like the, the screaming was really loud. We actually thought it was a bird that was hurt or something like that. And uh, and this is her today, three years later. So both Pumpkin and Suzu, um, we both found them <laughs> in our backyard. So anyhow, uh, it was her birthday and it was celebrated and she was the queen for the day. And isn't she sweet? And to answer your question, like, why am I at the Dollar Tree so much? I am not a regular Dollar Tree shopper. I like to, to pop in there once in a while, but I'm not there very often. But uh, my husband really liked the Lysol wipes that I made, the homemade one, where he wanted his own container because he likes the shape of it. And I, so I'm going to make him some of his own. But uh, yeah, he just thought it was really cool. And I have been using my wipes for more than a week. And the paper hasn't like broken down or anything like that. I know that was a question a lot of you had. And it's still doing a fine job to like disinfect, clean up my sink, clean up the the, the, the bathroom or wherever I want to use them. And uh, they're working out perfectly. So I will link this video at the end if you want to check it out. It's just a really easy hack to do some DIY, um, you know, uh, Lysol wipes at home. So when I walked into the Dollar Tree, you know, they had that display. It's usually like full of movies and like stuff that they're trying to get rid of. They had a box opened up with these eight packs of these face masks. Um, it's from this company named Toolbench. I'm wondering if they sell this at a Harbor Freight or something like that. But it's an eight pack of these masks for a dollar. This is the cheapest I've ever seen um, a mask like this for a dollar. Like I'm just... I was floored by it. I only grabbed one because I'm not sure if there was a limit on it. I'm sure they must have. They just legit opened up the box and put it out. So I just grabbed one and I was like, wow, eight for a dollar. That's crazy. So I'm just, I shot a little video here of uh, showing you guys what they look like. Um, yeah. So I'm wondering if this company Toolbench was sold at like a, a Harbor Freight or like one of those sort of hardware stores. But as you can see, it has that metal thing that you can pinch at the top. So if you wear glasses, you're not going to fog up your glasses. And as you can see in the back, um, Canada and then it says it's made in China so it was must have been distributed in a different country or something like that because it says Canada and then China but an eight pack for a dollar I mean you just can't beat that so what an amazing find today at the Dollar Tree I was floored by this just absolutely floored another thing that I found at the back was a huge display of these good and clean so it is like a knockoff of a Lysol wipe they look identical it was one per customer so I only grabbed the one and just to show you um what I did was I opened up this good and clean and because of the shape of it I thought it would be very similar to the Lysol wipes that I usually buy for $1.99 or on sale sometimes you can get it for 48 cents at Meyer. of course you're not going to have a sale like that for a while but side by side I mean they look identical I've never bought these sort of wipes either before at the Dollar Tree but opening them up this is where you could tell the difference so see the Lysol how plentiful that is and then look at that there's only 24 in there and it's not as like you know spectacular there but hey it's better than nothing um and then just to side by side you can see how the Lysol one at 34 count just has bigger like it's a lot more full um than the Dollar Tree one now the one on the left is from the Dollar Tree and the one on the right is the Lysol wipe and the Lysol wipe is about an inch larger than the Dollar Tree one very similar fabric a very similar scent they're both lemon scented so it's a very pleasant scent I always like cleaners with like lemon but as you can see uh, there's the inch difference the Lysol's on the bottom and the Dollar Tree's on the top and the same sort of moisture level. I mean, one's not too soppy or wet um, and they do a fine job cleaning. So, but for a dollar for 24, I don't think that's the worst price, especially now I would pay that all day um, to get extra wipes um, for the household. 
And as you can see, I know a lot of you uh, probably want to know like, hey, where was that manufactured? It says Wisconsin uh, there on the label. And it's very identical to Lysol, like, you know, the stuff that it cleans. So there they are, uh, good and clean versus Lysol. Always try to pick up a bunch of these moisture eliminators for your stockpile where you might have food or paper products. This is essential, especially when it heats up in the summertime. Okay, also very delighted to see these um, multi-surface cleaners by Lysol. They had an abundancy of them at both the stores that I visited um, last week and this week. So lots of them. Also, there's Pine Sol and they have a couple other brands um, that the Dollar Tree carries. They all do the same thing to disinfect. And to my surprise, tons and tons of toilet paper. Even though there's a little bit of a space there, there was a lot below. And both the stores had a plentiful amount of both um, toilet paper and paper towel. The limit is four. But, you know, this store had these little four packs. So you could do a lot with that. So, you know, it's it's not a bad little purchase. That is for sure. Um, so, you know, again, if you're not really a big shopper at the Dollar Tree and you are in a serious pinch for some of these goods, you might want to go. Um, because they did have a lot in stock and even the single count of the Viva that was very nice to see as well. As always, guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.